What are the odds of that? Good morning. We uh, made it back to the nurse tank here. Got the truck dropped off. So the plan is going well so far. I mean, all I've done is just drive here and grab this truck, but hey, that's better than most of the plans that we have. Usually they go off the rails within the first couple of minutes. I am headed to go get water and I think I've got chemicals enough to finish the 50 acres that I'm going to right now. So I just need the water. I'm gonna go fill the sprayer, go get more water, probably load with the chemical to finish this 120, and then go spray that, bring the sprayer up here, grab my truck, drive it to the nurse tank, bring it back here, you know the deal. I keep forgetting the road is closed here. It does say travel at your own risk. This does have four wheel drive. I have to get all these boxes, these empty chemical jugs and everything out of the truck. And I gotta grab the rest of the chemical for that 120. Pints divided by eight. What is seventeen divided by eight? Two point one. So I need twenty-one gallon of grounded. We'll bring that as well. Should be everything. What's the rates on this stuff? Oh, on the accomplish and the radiate. Yeah. Accomplish, I'm not sure, but the radiate I think was, I want to say it was six ounces per acre, but I could be wrong. In for corn, two to four fluid ounces per acre, so four. Starter, one to two quarts per acre. Four foot. So, whatever you want to do there. So there's 40 quarts here. That I can do. Okay, Dad is loaded and ready to go. He's gonna be testing out that Accomplish Max the guys at Nutrien gave me. We're hoping it works out like the Myco Apply that we used to run. It worked really good on the sand. It, it basically gave it another two weeks of drought resistance, and on that sand is a, is a big deal.
this farm is closed, so I had to drive through that poor gated community there, or private community. And I figured people would be upset with me, but really, everybody was waving and smiling, so that was nice. I didn't get yelled at. <laughs> So this is the field that we just planted last night. This was stripped and then dad came back and put the ammonia on. Looks really good. So I got dad moved over, or I got his seed tender moved over to the other field and brought him back to the planter. He is actually running right now on this 50 that I ran the strip freshener on. And I gotta say, it's looking very nice. Uh, I only put one pass on the end rows because it was a 24 row bar and we only have 32 end rows. So you can see here's where the strip freshener did not go through. Here's where it did on the end rows. Obviously he's ran over them a little bit, but here on the straightaways, they look fantastic. Very loamy. Came out looking great. I just hope it actually does anything. Because as you can see, I mean, these don't, they don't look great. And they're much chunkier. If we can see a return out of it, then who knows? Maybe I'll end up with a strip freshener. Dad's wasting the corn. There you go, buddy. What are the odds of that? I don't think he's gonna make it, but we can certainly try and save him. Here he goes. Oh. Can't say I've ever had that happen before. Usually the fish and wildlife in there tend to stay away from that hose, but that crawfish, I don't know. Hopefully I didn't kill him. He looked, he was still moving around. So I don't know. I'll have to order a new screen and get that put on because I don't want to be sucking up minnows and crawfish all the time. That's really gonna plug a filter when I go to fill the sprayer. Well, Dad said he's alerted the authorities because I don't have my fishing license, so I'm just going to sit here until the cops get here, I guess. Take me to jail. Time to finish the last 120 acres of beans. Well, we are on our last pass to finish up the bean pre-emerge spraying. It is absolutely dead out right now. Beautiful weather for spraying. I'm running 13 and a half mile an hour. Windmills aren't even turning, that's how dead it is outside. Almost there. this field hoping that I was you know only had 20 gallon left that way when I go to rinse out I'd only be diluting 28 20 gallons of mix versus if I have a hundred gallon left that's you know I'm gonna need a lot more water to dilute that but if I've got 20 gallon I put a hundred gallon of water in it the chemicals gonna be worthless I can spray it off back into these bean fields it's not going to really be doubling up chemical or anything like that um, and then i'll get it all sprayed out do a boom clean out rinse again repeat rinse a third time and then we should be good to mix for corn well we're rinsing out 
had about 70 gallons left of chemical. So I had to put about 300 gallon of water in here, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to go back and get water, bring it up tomorrow and finish rinsing this thing because it is gonna be dark by the time I get water.